What do you make of these first, of course, quick results uh, release? No, that shows effectiveness, mm. number one. And uh, I, would, uh, I would really like to congratulate C.S. Magoa for doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Is he proving himself uh, finally? No, but, but Magoa is proven. Magoa has always he, he's done. He's proven, but you know, when once he got into it, uh, you know, there was that feeling that, uh, well, he's disappointed us in a way. Uh, or, or maybe we were just judging him too quick. When, when I, the first time Magoa was appointed, I made a statement here, and mm -hmm. I said, this is the appointment that has taken too long to happen. Right. Magoa should have been in the cabinet right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's constantly now proving that that kind of impetus was needed. Right right from the beginning. And he's done a good com good job. It's commendable. Mm -hmm. Now, what remains now is the content of the result that he has released because Magua did not do exams. He did not mark the exam. He simply delivered an exam. So I, also, I believe in the process we'll be able to analyze the kind of result that he gave us, the impact that the result is having, and the positives and the negatives of mm -hmm. the results that we have. All right. Yeah. Yes, uh, Didi Paul Adede, they termed it as free and fair and transparent, more or less like, you know, the, uh, <laughs> when we're talking about the matters to do with ex ed ed elections <clears throat> and all that. So, according to you, indeed it was a free, fair process in as much as, uh, like we rightfully put it, we're not the ones who sat for these examinations. And uh, as it stands, of course, the president himself yesterday, you know, gave it a clean bill of health. I uh, was so much so impressed. Magoha, the CS himself, saying that, you know, for the very first time, uh, you know, this fact that we've not had delays in the marking process has, of course, spared us or has, of course, created a space of addressing the questions of irregularities. Uh, thank you, Linda, once again. And... Uh at my preamble, I'll start saying congratulating the students who performed well yeah. and even those who did not uh, meet the expectation. This is always, uh, this is just uh, the beginning mm -hmm. of the real life. Uh, even if you didn't perform as you expected, you know that there is still space. There are people who have performed in primary and they have not performed well in second, right. the same vis-a-vis -vis what happened at the second at the university. Uh, <clears throat> we might not have peace with certain things that uh, first of all, even Magoa himself, I want to congratulate him mm -hmm. because in the first time in history since I was born mm -hmm. that there were KCP uh, examination without lit, uh, in, any other fake ones moving in the street. Right. But uh, critically, if you look, if you do analysis of what has happened, you need to ask yourself what is happening within the public sector, mm -hmm. uh, right from even anything public be it public health, be it public, uh, public institutions, yeah. and even as we move on. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the statistics and the result, uh, the private schools have really performed well, uh, unlike the case yeah. where we expected, because the private, uh, the, it's, it's a clear indication that the, 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 those who have will still maintain the advantage of having and those who do not have will still remain at the disadvantage. I think you need to elaborate that further. Meaning, yes. meaning private schools are performed well. And you know what it takes for somebody for to, someone to be in a private, a school. private school. You have to be advantageous. There are very many of them in the country nowadays in comparison to what was back then. Mm. And uh, in as much as there are very many, they're not as expensive, by the way, if you compare to the days back then. Uh, they are not as expensive uh, no, as no, you. No, no. Linda, it depends on what you call expensive. <laughs> At least a common in, in a way, mm. or in their very own capacity, can afford. You see, at the bare minimum, mm -hmm. what, what should be there is we as a citizen or uh, citizen of this country, we pay taxes, we do what we call social theory. We pay taxes for social effect within our, uh, that the government should provide for ourselves. Mm -hmm. But you see, uh, when you go an extra mile that you don't now have the confidence of taking your kid to a public school, you spend the extra coin yes. to a private school. It beats no logic. Mm -hmm. So that's the discussion that we should be having. A person like me, I went to a, a public school, mm -hmm. uh, back in Rapid, the primary school, and we, my, we had confidence. I passed there. Uh, and even in, I think in this, in this panel, almost all of us went to public school. Right. But nowadays, it's, everybody's like, they're moving from public to private. to private. There must be something which is happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you say it's cheap, I remember uh, like a, a person like me, I pay my kid who is still four years old. Mm -hmm. The kind of money I pay for him yeah, in, is, the, in, kind of money. is, is the, the money I pay in a whole year for my brother who is in Amira High School. Right. So, <laughs> private
private school, uh, the bottom line is we have to. Because in the, in the, uh, if you look at the world all over, people should be running to pub public, uh, pub public school, mm -hmm. not the private. Mm -hmm. But in a case where now we don't want to go public, even in hospital we go private, even the water we drink, we can't even take public water, we are taking, <laughs> carrying it. There's something just very funny with the, the public thing. <laughs>